Hey, love bugs, it's Rosalind back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favorite, and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time stopping by my channel, much love to you and welcome. And to my returning subs, my growing extended beautiful family, just thank you so much for, you know, putting understanding towards the situations you're going through, being gentle with yourself, and, you know, embracing your gift. I know that can be hard as well as scary, especially if you, you know, you don't know what you're going through. And I understand that as well. That's why I love making my videos, to be able to give you that peace of mind, that comfort, comfort, uh, confirmation, as well as validation is that, you know, you're not going crazy. You know, these things you have to go through when you're going, hitting your spiritual awakening, it can put peace and understanding towards the things that you're really, truly going to going through so with that being said much love to all namaste love and blessings love and light and many blessings are definitely coming your way and if you have been watching my videos for a while i have not already what are you waiting for like and subscribe even hit that notification bell so you know when i'm about to upload my next video and if you are comfortable enough please go ahead and drop me a line or two i love the chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me even if it's about the positive feedback of the content of my video or you just up tell me about your impact the gift and how it impacts your life and heading you towards positive direction and if you feel like um the videos gave you good information or just good vibes that you know that you would love to share with the person that you know you feel like it really needs to hear it go ahead and um share it with them as well as give me a thumbs up like and even share also on your social media favorites wherever you see fit and once again thank you so much uh for showing me love and support towards my channel and i hope you're able to resonate with the content of my video so today, um, this beautiful meditation I'm listening to is so relaxing as well. It's called Relaxing Music, Manif Manifesting Happiness, Harmony, Inner Peace, Dissolve Negative Thoughts and Emotions. So I hope, you know, you're able to resonate with this and, you know, it'll be good for you. I love to be able to put peaceful meditation music in the back, you know, towards my positive messages. You know, y'all get like a double treat on that, you know, being able to, you know, get the vibration towards the back of it and, you know, hear the positive words as well. So, um, my video today is about Twin Flame 101, um, signs to know you are coming into your power. You know, there are so many things that we're going through that, you know, is scary. It really is, you know, especially we fear the unknown. You know, we fear the things that we are scared to embrace because we don't know what's going to happen next, what it's going to do for our future, what is going to happen for tomorrow. That's a lot of stuff to worry about. But when you have been in a certain situation that is in a dark place, you know, going through, you know, any ascension, you know, I keep saying that in my videos because a lot of people are going through that right now. A lot of people are. And there's people I, you know, I talk on one-on-one -on -one and I tell them I'm very easy and you know, positive with them and tell them, hey, you know, be easy with yourself, be gentle, because this is something new you are not used to. You know, if you're coming into something and a lot of us are multi-gifted where there could be things that, you know, there's five or six things you're dealing with at one time and that can make you go freaking bonkers. So, but it's just like when you, if you've been into a dark place where you have been manipulated, you have been backstabbed, or you've been in abusive situations where you are just like took a, you know, like, a, like if your energy is like steady, always getting beat up all the time and you you know you feel a certain way but you never vocalize it you say it in your head or you you're talking to somebody else but you're not talking to the person that um affected you or the situations that you've been in you finally feel yourself healing from it you know that is the signs of taking your power back when you know there's things that's going on through your head you know we we deal with a lot of bad memories we deal with a lot of things that has made us put walls up and we try to put understanding to it and we tell people we're okay when we're crying inside we're screaming for help inside but we don't know how to say it how to put it out there because some of us are ashamed for the things we go through you should never be able to be ashamed for the things that you've been been put in in situations because we all go through stuff one way or another um it took a lot for me to have to heal from my situation because I put it out there to y'all. It's not like I wanted to play victim or anything like that. Y'all, this is hair. There's a piece of hair that keeps tickling me. And I'm like, what is that on my arm? So, um, yeah, but there's things I've been through that was a lot for me to have to deal with after losing my father and, 
knowing my family was behind the situation and they knew who my father was the first, you know, from the beginning. And, you know, I always told my family, you know, that the my worst fear is to actually know one of my parents or both of my parents and not never be able to have a chance to meet them or whatever. And my adopted father, you know, made sure I lived that, that fear out. And I mean, I hated him so much for that, but it's just when I can sit up here and say, I pray for him and I, I had to take my power back. I sit up here, you know, and I put my videos out and let y'all know, hey, I've been through this, this, and this, and this, and that. But I'm using it as a, a stepping stone, a milestone, a positive. When you can go through a tragic situation and turn into a positive outcome, that's always a blessing because you let somebody know, hey, I was adopted. Uh, I knew my whole life I was adopted. I knew I was different. Um, I had the sixth sense where I'm able to see spirits. I was able to talk to people that other people couldn't see. Some people thought that I was crazy for that. I didn't care, you know, but growing up, my mom was very vocal about it, but she couldn't be vocal about it in front of my adopted dad because he considered that a mental illness. I had to take that power back because, you know, being adopted and then finding out on top of that, you know, my parents, my, my blood, you know, my biological parents were, um, teenagers when they had me so it was out of a teen pregnancy wedlock or whatever come to find out my father was a celebrity that was a lot to have to deal with because I always knew I had that special connection with my father since you know since I was a baby I used to have dreams about him all the time he was always there to uh, just help me you know he was my guardian angel even though he couldn't physically be there he was always spiritually there or metaphysically there and that was a lot to heal from you know, he has had me step out my comfort zones more ways than once, and I'm so blessed for that. Universe has helped me step out of my comfort zone in more ways than once, and I'm so grateful and blessed for that. It has humbled me from my experience. I never wanted to play victim for anything or made a poster board or, you know, whoa, whoa, what is me? You know, everybody has a past. Everybody is fighting for things that they have dealt with to heal from, which is a very hard thing to do. And I always keep it real with y'all. You know, some people don't want to believe it. That's fine. I, I, I don't have time to be convinced of nobody what my situation is. And some people embrace it like, wow, wow, you've been through a lot. You lost a lot. And here you are still making videos. There's times y'all don't see me cry because I never had that chance. Even though me and my dad just talked on the phone, you know, um, I've seen him in my dreams. We never could physically connect. I haven't been with my father since, you know, for three days, since the, you know, I was born for those first three days. That was the last time I seen my father. It's going on, you know, getting ready to go on 42 years. And um, like three or four months, I'll be, oh gosh, I'll be 42 in May oh my goodness y'all made, made me feel old but you know that situation has humbled me even though there's days I have sadness of missing my father and he, I know he tells me that a lot it's just a blessing for him to be my twin flame so I could be able to talk talk to him through my third eye or through my head all the time you know sing with him during my videos you know um putting those out that was you know stepping up on another platform for me to be able to do that you know be able to share that part of y'all with you know part with y'all about me that y'all weren't y'all didn't know about there's people that knew you know close with me that knew I could be able to sing but they never knew how you know a lot of other people weren't able to know that and so I put that out there so that humbled me to be able to go do these things and you know when you're taking your power back when you can actually you know a situation can come up and you don't put emotion on it you know you can go through that situation and then the memory will come up and you say you know what yes this was a, a very messed up situation but I'm no longer going through this. I'm healing myself. This person has no more power over me. When you can accept that fact that that situation does not have any kind of power to it, you're taking your power back. If you can sit up here and see somebody that has hurt you and they're trying to pull, you know, trying to trigger you and you can just simply walk away, that is taking your power back. When you see somebody is trying to poke buttons at you just to actually see, you know, make you come out of character and you just say, you know what, if you really don't have nothing positive to say to me, I don't have nothing to say. Or, you know, just delete yourself away from people like that. I've had people come to my channel I haven't talked to in months. I have people call me that I haven't talked to in months knowing good and well I don't block them out of my life all way possible. But when you know you're heading towards something positive, those people will come back to your life when you can, you know, knowing they didn't have no good ending or you have learned, you had a 
you know, you had a lesson out of that, that interaction that you had with those folks. And you were just saying, you know what? I really don't have no nothing to say to you. You block them out your life. That's what I had to do. I didn't even return calls. If there's somebody that called me, if I see them, like, ooh, let me go ahead and block this phone call because I don't want you calling me no more. Or if you're on my Facebook, I block you out of my Facebook. I don't need you in my life like that no more. You know, you didn't have any positive experiences with those people or you took the lesson out of that that situation is get your power back. Don't allow people to abuse you. Don't allow people to push you in a, a negative state. There's a lot of people that I've had one-on-ones with, you know, they're like, Rosalind, I'm upset. This person untriggered me because this situation, this situation, I don't put people's business out there because that's a one-on-one and they trust me with their confidentiality and I'll leave it at that. But I will use their situation as something like, okay, you know, they're going through this because other people are going through this as well. You know, you get triggered by certain people you see or there could be a certain scent or it could be a certain movie or a certain saying that can really put you in that point. But when you know it, it no longer affects you and even if that memory comes back and you do not give it no power, you let it just pass by like a car, you're taking your power back. So take your power back. If you're not lo- no longer affected by this situation, you're not in that situation no more and that memory pops back, don't give it your power. You know, if it pops back in your head because there's something you might be doing, don't allow that to affect you because you're going to bigger and better things. And with you going to bigger and better things, you can allow the things from your past to keep infecting you. Because if you if you need to talk to somebody you trust or be able to talk to a therapist or meditate or say affirmations just to say I'm alive I'm well I'm not in this situation no more I'm blessed not to be in this situation I'm blessed that I was able to get out of it that is taking your power back you just don't know you'll you'll get this burst of energy because a lot of us have been in situations where it's hard to get out of you know, I've seen people like that and it breaks my heart. And I'm just like, you can be able to walk away from this. It's just, it has to be up to you. This is something you have to do on your own. I only can tell you so much, but there's people I had to walk away from because they wanted to continue to fuss about it, but they weren't trying to make that change. I can't, you know, I can't keep continuing to deal with that. You know, I love that person. I, I, you know, I've dealt with people like that in my past that, you know, kept on telling me about their situations and I know it'll trigger me because I'm like, I've been in a situation like that. But if I'm trying to tell you, you know, look, you have that power to walk away or you can, you can walk away from this situation. Do that. Don't allow yourself to be abused. Don't allow yourself to be in that low vibration that you deserve not to be in. Go ahead and raise your vibration any kind of way. As long as it's not hurting somebody to be able to make you happy, go ahead and do that. But if you need to take your power back, you always need to take your power back from the people that harmed you. You always need to do that. You don't have to go off on them or anything like that. you just going to X them out your life and just say, you know what, I got to go. So I hope you are able to resonate with the content of this video. Much love and light to anybody. Uh, much love and light to everybody. I don't want to say just anybody who truly needs it. But much love and light to any, everybody. Send out as much love and light and positivity as you possibly can. Know that you are truly blessed, forever favored, and highly loved. And knowing there's always somebody out there praying for your better days. Like and subscribe. Drop me a, you know, drop me a message. I'd love to hear from you. And you know, share my, my videos wherever you see fit. And my um, post notification goes out to um, Thomas Roberts. Uh, Christiana, Indigo Reckon, um, Jade Lyman, much love to you, and Diamond, and Lisa uh, McDevitt, so much love to you, and I will talk to you on my next video. Much love, peace, be wild.